Hello, hello, and welcome to the final installment of Sile Savvy. I am your hostess, Jewelry Jelly, and this evening we are going to take a little look at what happens in the Style Savvy City when it's time for Christmas. But before that, I think I could probably use a makeover. And I think I'm going to get myself all dressed up. I keep forgetting how less advanced this is compared to some of the later titles. Alright, I am going to dress up in my goth best. Nothing like a cravat. a little itty bitty hat. Give myself some goth looking makeup as well. And I'm going to get my hair done. I figure I might as well. Did that just rhyme? That just totally rhymed. Alright. Navy blue mascara, that should do it. And some red eyes. Let's have a very goth Christmas. And if you think the makeup is funky here, you should see how funky it is in style savvy fashion forward. I mean, we've got people walking around with green blush for goodness sake. Okay, I did buy all of the lipstick, and it looks like there is no pure black lipstick in this game. Now this is the music for winter, and I'm gonna say that it's the music that I most associate with Style Savvy, because I decided to buy the first game for myself as a birthday present. Um, back in 2000, so let's see, I think it was like 2008, 2009 when it came out. And saw it in the store, didn't really think much of it until I read a couple of reviews. And then I decided, oh, I might as well flip it up, pick it up. Alright, let's get her some spiral curls and make it dark, dark black. With a little bit of red. Anyway, it was one of my best birthday presents to myself. The other one was when I bought myself nine hours, nine persons, nine doors with some birthday money my mother gave me and a card. We went out to dinner, she gave me a card and said, Becky spread it on a privility. So I did. And I ended up getting 999, and it is one of the best games that I have ever played for the Nintendo DS. If you ever get a chance to do it, I say take it. Yes, Dee Dee, I am cool. I'm very cool. Oops, I need to go to my shop, not my apartment. Now, as you can see... Oh, Grace is giving me the little test. And last time that... We met, I decided to give the store a little bit of a makeover. Okay, we've got a first visitor who is learning how to play the slide whistle and has a pretty big budget. 2160. Hello, Marjorie. She needs a new top. Now, she is... let's see. Let's see. Probably not Raven Candle but she's probably a Sonata person, so I'm just gonna be take the um, easy way and see if she likes it this way, just to be safe. Oh, she's very happy with it, that's good. 
so I don't lose a star rating and have to battle my way back up from the basement. All right, please come again. Goodbye for now. All right, thanks, Grace. It's like I never left. Good job. Oh, hello. And who is this? Ooh. Go out shopping and get some party decorations? That's right up my alley. Don't really have very many money um, in the way of Christmas decorations that are up right now. We have a very small tree. Ah, there's a couple of new visitors. We have a small tree and recently got a couple of ornaments off of Etsy that are representing our two cats with it. And then I have a bunch of little um, cell phone straps and keychains that I hung al along it that um, are just da gathering dust. That mannequin in your window doesn't look like it, but I think it has claws. Okay. Claws that have dug into my brain. I can't stop thinking about it. Oh my god, I just made a Metroid. Of course she wants the entire outfit. I mean, I put it together after all. So now I'm a fashion parasite or something. Well, she looks pretty good. Truly outstanding. Those claws transformed into flower petals. Okay. Oh my gosh, I just realized her name's Ashley, just like the witch girl in WarioWare. And of course, she likes goth. And she's wearing red. Isn't that amazing? All right, let's say hi to this first new visitor here. She thinks her glasses make her look smarter. Although she doesn't seem to really have very much fashion sense. And she's looking for something chic. I see. You are an Alvarado lady. And I think you would like this dress. She likes the way I think. All right. I think, yeah, that's a pretty nice dress. She's probably going to a really fancy Christmas party in it. A place that serves scallops wrapped in bacon and uh, mimosas. All right, we'll say hello to this other new person. She cries easily, but she laughs even easier. Aw, she's like a rainbow leggings girl. So cute. And she doesn't have to work today. Awesome. And she's looking for a casual dress. And it looks like she is apparently a daisies girl. Let's see. Hmm. And what's her budget? She wants $200. I think she'd probably like this one a little bit better, but I'm gonna do the take a look just to be sure. Oh. Oh wait, I think I just hit on her favorite color. I just hit on her favorite color and I would have been able to get a little extra on the sale thanks to that. I really should have taken that risk, oh well. Oh, she doesn't love the brand, but it's one of her favorite colors, so it wouldn't have worked anyway. Yeah, one time when I was originally playing this game, um, you know, you see Lorelai in the customer list, and one time I sent, I sold her a black blouse from Capsule, even though it wasn't her favorite brand, and she absolutely loves wearing black, so. In fact, let's go and say hello to her, and then, oh wow, six stamps already. And then once I'm done with that, I will go check out the mall. So she's looking for an outfit to match her rabbit ear hoodie from Raven Candle. Well, 
Let's see. Why don't we give her a nice old dress to wear? And what does she say? Ooh. All right, and that's seven stamps on her card. Yeah, when you get eight stamps on your card, I believe the customer comes back in and they get like a 20% discount or so. Okay, and let's say hi to blue-haired Victoria. Hmm, well, that's definitely true coming from a successful party planning business owner. Oh good, she's not a looky loo Also, she loves stuff that's blue. Do I have anything that's blue? Let's see. I know she really likes Sonata. Give her some nice boots. Oh. oh, she is really happy with those boots. Doing a shimmy. And now she wants a skirt. Okay, do I have a skirt from Sonata? computer screen it looks kind of green but on my 3ds it looks kind of blue so I don't really know the difference I mean one thing I did like about ah, Sailor Moon transformation pose one thing I did like about um, fashion forward is that the colors were much more clearly defined between that and trendsetters trendsetters seem to have a sepia tone to everything okay Victoria is happy and we are off to the mall are going to have a very Merry Christmas. <laughs> Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. Batmobile lost a wheel, the Joker got away. Jingle bells. Okay, that's enough. Ooh, a night sky theme and a party with tropical flowers. Hmm, night sky theme? Uh, more like, um, let's see. Yeah, night sky theme is more solemn, but a tropical flowers one, you can go all mele kaliki maka. Yeah, flowers in winter, cool. Yeah, let's do mele kaliki maka. Alright, I've been invited to a Christmas party. Oh, hey Libby! Okay Libby, you can take a photo. I think you like having your photo taken almost as much as I like taking photos. No! You're not exactly wrong! Alright. Head back to my shop and see what else is happening. Oh, hi, Godfrey. Okay, Godfrey is playing wingman for Dominic again. <sighs> All right. Ooh, looks like we've got some new customers. This one likes finding a great deal on clothes. Hi, Karen. I once worked with four Karens at once. It was very interesting. 
All right, she is a Penbridge person, and it looks like she wants a casual dress, so let's see here. Do I have anything that might be Penbridge? Hmm. Oh, I do! Good! Okay, and how does she feel? Oh, good. I knew I could depend on you. She is impressed by the dress. Bye! Alright, let's see who else is here. How about this young lady down here? She likes spiders, but she's still afraid of them. Hello, Angie. Oh, she's wearing a spiderweb skirt, so... Hey, guess what? I have never lost at a game of rock, paper, scissors. Did, um... Hmm, I wonder if, um, Rohan Kishibe had a hand in this. Okay, and she's just a looky-loo here to brag about her lead rock, paper, scissors skills. Alright, let's check this one right up here at the top. Who's nostalgic for her childhood days, aren't we all? Hello, Fiona. She's looking for a whole outfit that looks fun and playful. Well, let's see here. Let's see. She'll probably want something in April Bonbon, so let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have that much in April Bonbon. Let me see if I can fill that out with a couple of uh, things from Daisies. Oh god, I'm gonna put her in uh, flip-flops and socks. There's no way around it. Let me see if... Nope, that's just a tunic. I don't have any outers. Well, she's gonna clash horribly, but... I think that's a lot of the fun in dressing when you were a kid. She's good. She's good enough to be doing jazz hands. Ooh, roller skating. I haven't done that in a while. Bye, Fiona! Alright, and this young lady right here. She has four brothers, but ha keeps hoping for a sister. Hey! Stella! And she's looking for a preppy style. Alrighty then. Well, first things first. Hmm. Oh uh, yeah, can't do that, can't do that. Okay, let's see what she thinks. The thing is, is that I'm not sure if she's going to say no to this because of the weather. And... Ah! Good. And the jazz hands, too. Bye, Stella! Alright, and then we've got Chloe and Caitlin. I think I'll help Caitlin. She's so sweet. Ah, playing on with the kids. Ooh, a heroic cat to match her hooded top. Okay, she's a Daisy's girl. 
So let's see if I have any daisies hats. And I don't have any daisies hats. What about April Bonbon hats? I have April Bonbon hats. Ooh, take her to Alola maybe? Hmm, yeah. Well, I made the right choice. Now she's off on a Pokemon journey. Wonder if she's gonna choose Litten, Popplio, or Rowlet. Ooh, now she wants a full outfit. Hmm, let's see here. have all that much in terms of April Bonbon, bon, but I do for daisies. Hmm. Looks like... Hmm. Oh man, I hate to decline her, but I might have to. Yeah, I just... I don't really have that much to offer, really. I mean, I can try to throw some stuff together and see if it'll stick, but... Let's see if this works. Well... I'll take it. Alright, what a nice choice! Now there's no stopping my force field of justice thanks to my trusty stylist! Alright, Caitlyn! Huh? What's this? Oh, hi Dominic! Do I have a moment? Oh yeah, I got a moment, dude! Godfrey has been acting strange lately. He told me I need to find more friends. Godfrey is your mother. He just comes in, talks at me for a few minutes, and leaves. Okay, so it looks like I can go take a break. Well, I am going to stock up the buyer center for one. Uh, it looks like I can only buy ten things, really. Let's see. Think five things from April Bonbon bon and five things from Raven. Let's see. And one last thing. Let's see. Ooh, nice scarf. All right. Now head to Raven Candle and check out what they have there. Nice blouses. Get a skirt. Is there a dress? Yes. Oh, that white one. Some lace up shoes. I think that should be pretty much it. Although, hmm, definitely could. Ooh, nice overcoat. Yep, 
yeah, definitely get an overcoat. Alright, so I am pretty much full up. Let me see if there might be some unlockables at Dominic's. And there aren't any. Oh well. Sorry, Godfrey. Alright, back to the grind. Ooh. Uh, did I forget something when I was over at Aunt Dominic's mansion, Godfrey? Okay, you came all the way here to ask me what my opinion of Dominic was? Huzzah! Well, of course I have to get along with him. He gave me my big break and everything after all, right? Okay, let's take a look at this first visitor. She insists that everyone around her recycle. Hello, Maureen. Ooh, she's got dinner plans, but she needs a skirt. Hmm. Wonder if I have something that will suit her. Well, since you mentioned recycling, maybe she'll like something from Terra. Yep! Strike pose! Ooh, and she wants an outer layer now. Oh dear. Do I even have anything? Hmm. Well... Usually, Terra and Kara Momo overlap, so I'm gonna see if she likes this. It kinda goes, but not much. What does she have to say? Aww. Hmm, 50 50. If it fits your budget. Aww, yeah! All right, so that's another successful sale. And I hope Maureen re recycles that shopping bag. Okay, and the young lady in the pink hat. She never has enough hangers in her closet. She should come over and borrow some of mine. Hello, Carly. A little preoccupied? A hundred outfits before I find one I like? Are you ever on time for anything? A cardigan. Well, let's see. I think I saw one that I think that she might like. Especially since it has pink in. And what does she say? Oh! This isn't her usual brand, but she loves pink. Bye! Okay, Lila, Violet, and Chloe. Let's see what Violet has to do today. So she's looking for pants to match a top, and it's a pen bridge. Ooh, I forgot to pick up anything from Penbridge, and I know that they were open. Looks like this is probably the only thing that is going to work, but hopefully she'll be okay with it. I've never seen pants like these before. You've never seen... Well... I mean, I haven't seen pants with plaid at the cuffs in a while. Okay, Chloe and Evie. It's Chloe the Equestrian. Oh, 
Okay, she's looking for pants to match her shoes and um, went into a whole tangent about farm animals and apparently is looking for something from daisies. I'll give her the glitter encrusted pants. She will probably scare all of the horses. Also, it'll probably be very hard to move in them. But on the plus side, she probably won't um, get saddle sores. She wants an entire outfit now. Alright, let's pair it with some nice ice cream. And since I don't have any other daisy stuff, I'm gonna give her some April bonbons. Let's just hope that she's okay with it. The pants. Oh. I can definitely afford this look, but is that reason enough to buy it? 50-50. Don't think, just buy. Aww. Well, she's just going to go for the glitter-encrusted pants. Honestly, glitter-encrusted is never a really good thing. Lila? Who never brings me donuts? And attractive pants. Hmm. Let's see. Wonder if she will like these. How do you look? Oh. Oh, man. Sometimes they throw you for a loop like this. I mean, I figured giving her GXS pants to go with her GXS shoes. But at least I got the 50-50, right? Yay! Hey, athleisure is the new thing. Bye-bye! Oh! Oh, hey! Guess what? It's seriously exciting! I'm not even joking! Oh my, Renee is certainly getting excited about this news, and rightly show so! I received notice that your shop rank went up! And we are at 500 customers and 5 stars! Y'all know what this means. We can enter the international contests. And Renee is still being Renee, and Grace is still being Grace. Oh, hey again, Dominic. My friend, thank you for your appreciation. So now that we're the best boutique in the city, okay. Yes, you are my friend. Yes, you are my friend. Um, did he just put me in the friend zone? All right, so now that we've got our five stars, let's go take a visit to Rococo. Look who it is, Rococo's favorite little stylist. I've been waiting for you. In the international contest, you'll be your own model. That's what make this, makes this particular competition so exciting, don't you think? So, do you plan to enter the international contest today? Um, heck yes. Cultivated cool, huh? Mm -hmm. 
a okay. All right, so this is my last step towards the completion of the game story. Everybody is psyching me up. Now one thing about the international contest is that I believe there's a different subject for each month of the year. All right, high-end hip, winter wear, and glamorous. Gabriella, Morgan, hmm, Nebula Ice, that sounds like a good name. Oh wow, Princess Elsa decided to enter Uber style, huh? These are not outfits for little girls. These are outfits for women. So, what are you wearing, Rococo? Is okay. Burr, brilliant. Oh, I get it. Burr, like it's cold. Ah, obvious pun is obvious. Scarf and gloves, huh? All right, so obviously we're going to be going for Alvarado here. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that works a little bit better. under control, though I think maybe I'll nix the sunglasses. Okay. Got a jacket, a top, a scarf, socks and shoes and gloves. Although, I wonder if I should go for a hat rather than headband. Yeah, just in case. Wow, take a look at you! <laughs> yeah, you can probably have it after I'm done. You could probably pull it off really well, Grace. Oh wait, not Grace, Renee. What am I thinking? Okay... Yeah, nothing like red sandals to say winter. Well, with a name like Nebula Ice, you'd think that she'd have the cold weather thing down. Well, kinda. I mean, but then it, oh my god, it's one of those skirts. I don't know, like, I don't know what possessed them to include that kind of a skirt in the game because it just looks completely unfinished. I mean, I've never even seen somebody wearing something like that in America, I mean. All right, lots of cheers, big wave, big thumbs up, lots of flash bulbs. Let's see how well I did. Oh, 
Renee is like, oh, I gotta use the bathroom! I'm freaking out! Pressure pushing down on me. Alright! Oh, here it comes! Hold Wait a minute! <clears throat> here it comes! Hold on to your hats! But first things first, let's announce the winner of the Special Mention Award! Even though she didn't win the contest, she showed a lot of talent! Alright! Congratulations, Nebula Ice! Okay... Devote your entire life to fashion and you just might win next time! The winner is... Jewelry Jelly! Fashion is passion and I'm feeling the heat! Alright, I got another statue! And I'm on top of the world looking down on creation. Okay, now Renee is probably going to peddle the fact that she knows the world's best stylist for all it's worth. I'm so happy! I, I, I'm not crying! I must have gotten s s something in my eye! Uh, can you get any more Tsundere? Aww, thanks Felicity! Aw, Grace. The, s the student has surpassed the master. Aw. Thanks, Dominic. I want you to know I saw something special in you the very first day we met. But not that kind of special. And your reward is clothes. Although, yeah, micro mini. And this is my prize for winning the international contest a big old crown. Oh, but you can't sell it. Oh no, that would be a serious faux pas. And here comes Libby! Mm. Alright, and then... Hey everyone, stand over there, and this time we'll say Jelly! And... Jelly! So... That's the end of Style Savvy. And once the main story and the main title rolls around, you're able to do a new... Well, you're not able to do a new file, but what you can do is you can do a new character with new um, looks and everything, and continue on playing with that. One of the main objects of Style Savvy is pretty much to collect everything, and I don't think I ever really got close to collecting any, everything, except for maybe the makeup. Now, Style Savvy was definitely one of my favorite games on the DS, but if I were to... Hey Satoru Iwata, we miss you. If I were to rate the Style Savvy games... Yep, the bonus mode is now available on the title screen. You can create alternate faces for your character by using bonus mode. So yeah, if I were to rate the Style Savvy games that are out currently in order of me liking them, it would be Trendsetters is number one, Fashion Forward is number two, and the original is number three. Um, in the next few days, I am going to be diving into Style Savvy Styling Star, and I can't wait for that. In fact, I might just post a few videos. Anyway, this was Style Savvy, and I hope you all enjoyed it. This is Jewelry Jelly signing off. See you next time.